Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a beautiful game called Hydraneer. Look at all of the trash I have. There's just trash, trash everywhere in my beautiful world. But you know what isn't trash? Check this out. Yes, the machine that we worked on last time, the giant piles of money that we have in these things, and you might notice something a little bit different right up here. Look at this. Do you see that? There's a brand new logic system. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, but Blitz, you're not smart enough to be able to build a giant, really cool sorting system like this. And you're... You're absolutely right. Uh, I had a little help from the community team. Uh, Itchy Beard. Big shout out to Itchy Beard for uh, building this system. It's pretty complex and amazing. Check this out. When that thing hits 5,000, you see the 5,000 over there. When this counter hits 5,000, this conveyor belt shuts off. See it shut off? And then it delays for a couple seconds. And then it flushes everything. Automatic money. Oh, isn't that so cool? I'd also like to thank Oculus for sponsoring this video. And if you guys haven't seen the Oculus Quest 2, it's a great standalone VR headset that doesn't require a powerful computer or any additional hardware. It also has a very comfortable head strap and some great controllers. All you need to do is pair it to your mobile app and you can play numerous great virtual reality games. Now, speaking of great games, the one I'm playing here is a game called Myst. Yeah, it's the old puzzle exploration game Myst. And it's one of the first PC games that I ever played way back way way back when when I was just a little guy and now for the first time ever you can step inside of the world of mist and immerse yourself into the world they've totally remastered the game's assets the textures and they brought it to a scale that feels amazing as you walk through it in virtual reality and virtual reality entirely changes the immersion of this game you're able to travel through the beautiful island that is eerily saturated with mystery and is shrouded with intrigue explore the deep connections and uncover the story of a ruthless family betrayal and as you progress through the game's ages you play through countless number of randomized puzzles while you explore that underlying mystery. So if you'd like to get your own Oculus Quest 2 virtual reality headset, make sure you click on that link down below in the video description. And we can even come over here and change the number. Like, we can do a 2,000 where it'll flush every 2,000 blocks. Isn't this cool? Look at that. Updates to there. And if this guy equals that guy, then this thing shuts off at 2,000 and then it'll flush everything. And he's even got a logic system over here that delays for nine seconds so that conveyor belt will run again. Amazing! So check it out. It just stopped again. And these are going to flush, please. Yes! 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 Oh no! Gold money, come back here. I like you. Stay. So if you guys did miss the last video, this machine in the background here makes $488,000 every hour. Now, my thinking was I want to take all of these bars and put all of these bars into something else. So I need to build up a conveyor belt, probably up to here, to make a giant pile of, of orb or of ingots, because I think that'd be fun. Also, you guys told me to get a scale. Nah, we don't need one. What I want to do is I just want to put ingots on a scale, and it says, yes, lots of money. Uh-huh. Yep. Landed. Nailed it. Perfect. Landed. Perfect. No, I don't want to be in here. I want to be in here. Large wood floor times 10, 20, and 30, 40, 50, and good old number 60. Now let's see if my truck will drive without flying all over the place. Oh, it works! Yay, go team! Sometimes I feel like I gotta be my own cheerleader, cheer myself on. So I'm all alone, making money for days, upon end, hitting things, crashing with no friends. I knew this would happen. Landed it. So you're probably saying, hey Blitz, you dummy, you don't need all of those. That's fine. I'm just gonna put these up anyway, just to make it look a little cleaner. And this one should do it. Come on, yes, just, would you please just be, thank you. Aha, that's a nice tower. I like that. I think you guys know where this is going. I'm gonna double these up, sort of. And uh, that broke, so <laughs> stop getting money, which is bad. But there is a giant stack under, oh, balls. Why you do this to me? <laughs> Evidently automatic doesn't quite mean what I think it means and I load the game Everything's back to normal except that other part is still broken, which sucks. Hey wait what hold on <laughs> Why are there some towers missing up the stairs here? But guys come on now. I paid for those so I should just buy a few more of these Oh, yeah, I have to I have to actually buy them. <laughs> just kidding. I buy a few more of these like I said and then drive senior slideshow all the that's the name of the truck I just named him that senior slideshow in Spanish. We're gonna drive him all the way back. Yeah, that's right his oh, oh no Oh, this is bad. No, oh, no see When you're driving mr. Slide oh, oh here wait, you know what uh, unstuck maybe it yes landed it nailed it I love how this game instead of just things being very heavy. It just is 
like <laughs> it's like you got a really really heavy load of stuff in the back of your truck let's just make the game really like instead of like digging in the tires squatting that sort of thing then i went all that way bought a bunch of these things and totally forgot to fix the thing that was broken and now it's causing a bunch of lag again please flush can i oh there's a itchy put in a, a manual flushy button here too watch this but bingo come on did it come on come on. yes no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you want to see the game crash? It'll be funny. Usually, if it gets this slow and you do something like this just real quick, a boop. Oh, it didn't crash. Wow. Kind of surprised. Now I have junk everywhere. I just love how these ones are just like barely clinging out of there. <laughs> and some of them are spraying to the back wall, too. All right. So, if I put these in, my goal is to like completely make a second round here. I'm kind of hoping that these just drop directly into those funnels. I might have to funnel below this. We'll see. So, <laughs> kind of and I've been laying in this... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Two day cycles passed. But look what else has passed. Check out that sweetness up here. Look at this. I have done it. I have put together everything. There's another, like, 60 or 70 more mining facilities. And I even put dirt under each one of these. I want to see if it works. You guys want to see if it works? I want to see if it works. I don't, or, you know what? At this point, I don't really care if you want to see, because you're already watching this video, so it te technically, it means you want to see it. So if I do this, and I take this one out, and then I turn it around, and I go, boop! All of those should fire. Ah! <laughs> oh no, they missed! <laughs> they missed! Oh, that's terrifying. They're supposed to go drop directly down. Guys, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, that means, that means I gotta, I gotta, I gotta funnel it. Shoot, I didn't want to have to funnel it. Is it a bad idea if I just grab the lower funnels and try those first? Hello, yes, please. I'd like to submit you for putting up top. D can you just, thank you. Sometimes things in this game don't want to be placed properly. Like this one. Would you just right in the middle? Come on, just right, just stay in. Oh, got it. Okay, I got an extra funnel. We're gonna, oh, that looks so cool inside. I love it. Okay, we're gonna just do a little bit of like that, like that. And now I need to, how do I turn? I didn't plan this out. How do I turn both on at the same time? Oh, this way, I did turn. I, I did use the big brain, okay? And then if I hit this button, all of those will turn on. Oh, <laughs> yay, explosions. Okay, now what, oh, this is gonna clog everything up. I need to know if the bottom ones, no, they don't fall in, no! Uh-oh. Okay, so I definitely need, I definitely need funnels. And that was not working. Oh, there it goes, it fell down and in. Yes! Okay, that's that's terrible, but it's good, because I know what I need to do now. And it's laggy now, so <laughs> time to return to save. So I got more funnels. Let's put them all in. I'm going to make so many monies. All right, so that was 22 funnels. I need another 22 here. And then on this side, I needed 20 more. So that's 42 more funnels. But I need to so see if they work. Can you please work? Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. It's working. It's working. Wow. Well, do it again. Do it again. It'll be fun. I promise. Yes. Yes. Yes, large dogs for days. Okay, okay, I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Uh, there's like a billion, a billion, probably less than a billion, but a billion filters in here. And if I run over here, jump down, do a 360 no scope, I can hit the repair thing. Repair this guy up. Repair that one up. I really need to automate that. And then um, I think all I need to do is click this button and everything should work. I'm kind of excited, a little bit nervous. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Actually, we have to do the stand on it. Ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. How? Oh, it working? Oh no, it didn't work. Why did you not work? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's illegal. Who, who decided not to work? Oh no. <laughs> uh, it's like ping ponging around up there. I think I know how to do it. I got an idea. It's just gonna take forever. Which is like, welcome to Hydroneer. Each video takes at least 12 hours to produce. Oh, but that money comes through so fast. Oh, there is so much of it. Oh, it's beautiful. So I think if I just take these win, that's the wrong place. Hey, come back here, I miss you. If I take the windows and I put them there, I think it'll block it. Because what's happening is little nuggets coming down and it's bouncing off of there and shooting out in the middle. I really need to know how much money this thing is gonna make for long term, like each hour. Cause it's all automated, right? 
and it should just turn all of the blocks into like big monies. So it's going to be a huge amount of money coming out of this. All right. I put in enough windows on that side. Let's see if this works. Ready? Okay. Oh, that worked beautifully. Oh, that was fantastic. Do it again. Do it again. I promise it'll be cool. Do it. 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 Uh huh. And then down it comes. Oh wait. Uh huh. <laughs> no. No. Okay. What happens if I move those windows down below? Stand on the thingy and go. Well, oh, that's not standing. I just kind of removed it. Huh? Whoops. And then I stand on the thingy and I go. Boop. Okay. Does it work this time? Mostly. Mostly works. You know what this means. This this doesn't mean good things. Oh, it actually does work. That's not that's not nuggets falling out. I thought I was gonna have to go buy like literally 200 of these windows and put, install them all. No, it's actually functioning. Nice. No, oh, we just <laughs> it just spit out it just spit out bars. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at all. Okay, there are still actual chunks coming through, which isn't good. Oh, you know what else isn't good? There's probably a million um, gems in this thing because I've never pulled that. So, pew! <laughs> oh! Okay, so there's big chunks in there. This is not the best. This is. It's working, but it's not working because there's still dirt chunks flying everywhere. And I can tell after three minutes it's getting leggy because of all the dirt chunks. I'm also not going to lie. My least favorite thing about this game. I enjoy this game a lot, but my least favorite thing is having to repair stuff. I just, I don't like it. I, I do not like machines breaking down and having to repair them. I, there's just something annoying about it. Like, I, and then you can't really tell. I mean, you can if you hook up all the systems, but it's just not fun. I wish there was an option in the settings, like somewhere in here be like, um, gameplay. And then there's a button that says, do things break. And then you can t touch no because that would be nice. And also I need to save and then get rid of all the dirt. All right, after purchasing exactly 50 of these windows, I am one short. I thought I had enough. <laughs> Duh. Okay, ready? Oh, I gotta fix this thing again. That's not the fix, that's a giant treasure chest that I accidentally found. Okay, fix things. Fixing, things are fixed. This should do it. I should sleep so the sun's in the right part of the sky so we can see better. Look at that. Sunrise makes everything more pretty. And here we go, here we go, here we go, and click. Oh yes, oh yes, gold money for days. Oh, they all made it in. All of these made it in, we gotta go check. We're gonna run, we're gonna go Sonic fast, and around the corner, we are, we are in. Okay, wow. Look how fast that number's going up. I am also seeing zero dirt chunks. I think I have solved my problem. I have solved my problem. We have done it, my dudes. Now you're probably saying, Blitz, these are small nuggets. I don't care. Lots of small, uh-oh. <laughs> you guys don't see that. Oh, great. Where is it coming from? That's not cool. <laughs> Some of the mall nuggets add up to big nuggets too, so that's exciting. Oh, dirt chunk, where are you? Oh, there it was. I just saw it. It just fell in from right there, didn't it? How do I do this? How do, what do I do? I just take this and just kind of like tape it on the side here. Is that gonna, is that gonna do the trick? It might. I'm gonna just take this one and step it on the side right here. And then take this one that I'm standing on, uh, and then we'll put that one like right here. Fixed it. Fix the problem. You just tape it together and everything works better. Oh, <laughs> but there is so much gold. Look at all of this ore on here. Isn't that insane? It's just an endless pile of money coming through. You hear all of the, the gurgling down below? <laughs> this is so amazing. I'm so excited with myself. It's almost too much because the game really slows down. <laughs> Whoops. So we've just got one more thing that I want to do. I want to bring all of these up out of the bottom of the hole because I'll be honest, going down into this hole all the time is kind of annoying. So I know it looks cool having giant stacks of stuff. I think I'm just going to smelt everything and put them into one giganto bar. Well, everything individually because you can't make like a, you know what I mean. I can't make a, an iron and gold ingot together. So I'll just make a really big ingot of all of them. There we go. So that should be all of the sparkly bits. And I'll just shove it right in here because that sounds like a good idea. Power up our machine with it. And here's the gigantic bar of gold and iron and caternium or whatever it's called. Cool. 
<laughs> it looks so much less impressive when it's not a giant stack. Interesting too, I found this that had some leftover metal in it. Looks like that's probably iron. So now the age old question is, oh, I got a leftover irons everywhere. Do I keep this on the flat level here or do I go one down below? I think I need to go one below. And the reason for that is I wouldn't be able to power it because there couldn't put water directly into it. I think that's gonna be okay though. And it's also fun when you're excavating down here sometimes, you just find random things shoved into the walls. Yeah, I don't know why that's way over there, but I have it now, so that's cool. And then we'll fill the hole full of these things, and then put these things down so they come out of the hole. And I probably need to go buy some more of these just to finish up. And then we'll bring it directly right into our mine, like so. There, how's that look? I'm actually pretty excited about that. Gotta remove this junk on the floor, and then we'll hook up the pipes to power this thing. Like, there you go, there you go. Then it should be on. Everything everything should be working. Oh boy, I'm really excited. <laughs> like, this is the biggest machine I've ever made in any video game besides maybe Satisfactory, I think. And this thing's taken me probably close to 30 hours total to build. Yeah, it's kind of insane, actually. So let's press that button. I'm gonna quickly repair this guy and probably this one. There we go, there we go. <laughs> It's working, it's working, it's working. Please have power. These aren't working. Okay, because that one's turned off. Oh, it might, it might have actually ran out of energy. Oh, okay, that's fine. I can just take this out and grab one of these guys and shove it in the hole, maybe. Like that. There we go, door's open. And we'll grab one of these bars. Try to bring it down below into the legopotamus. That's what I'm gonna name it, the legopotamus. I really need to shove this in quickly because we're hitting that 5,000 mark. Is that gonna work? Yeah! Are you in there? It looks like it might be powered. Are these going up? No, they're not. Uh, also, <laughs> it's, uh, it's carrying the small things. It's a big yikes. Oh boy, yeah, that means this stuff's overflowing. Hold on, we need to reload the game to clear the, the mess. Oh, that went in this time. That's weird. Oh, those are just turned off. Why are those turned off? That's sus. Turn that on. There you go. That's really weird. These are new. Like, why would they be off? They're brand new. I just bought them at the grocery store. Take me to your people. Oh boy. More than one are off. That is so weird. <laughs> quick, quick, <laughs> stop the machine. Stop it real fast, stop. We got a, we got a serious backup. <laughs> this conveyor belt stopped. <laughs> There's problems everywhere. <laughs> uh, I think I have no idea why. Hey, let's try it again. Pretty sure it's gonna work this time. Fingers crossed. Okay, the money is coming through, which is good news. Everything's being sorted properly. If it dumps, I'm gonna be a happy man. I'm gonna be one happy, happy clam, clam man. It's, should be dumping. It's dumping. It's dumping! We got a dump! Yes, it is coming up. All of the blocks. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. Oh my word, all the money's coming in. We have a gigantic leg fest here. But it's incredible. It's working. <laughs> I'm so excited, if you can tell. Wow, how cool. And then these all go up. And they make big stonks. Like, these are huge amounts of money coming up and flapping down. Oh my word, is it leggy. Hey, but we did it. The, the machine is functioning. I think once a lot of this gold gets processed, it'll be quicker. Okay, so here's the deal. I wanna see how much money this thing is gonna take over a long period of time. So I'm gonna set this for 20,000. That's 2,000, 20,000. We'll submit it so it goes there. And then since everything is working nicely, I'm gonna set my timer on my phone for six minutes after I get everything repaired up and it's gonna go good. Everything's repaired, and if I do this for six minutes, starting now, yes! Six minutes starting now, then I'll multiply whatever money we get by 10, and that's how much money we make per hour on my new machine, which should be pretty incredible. Also, I've been combining all the bars over here. All of these bars are uh, what it took me to build the machine, so I wanna see how much money I made while building it compared to how much I make per hour. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of weird just standing here. Like I've did, I've done all of the work. All of the work's done. Now I just get to wait for the payout. 
Like, it's kind of fun just to see how much money I made. I have nothing else to do. I've cleaned up and tidied everything. It's looking good. Like, it's perfect. It's the perfect base. I can do one thing, because this one doesn't matter. Uh, I can just pull that lever. These gems got to be super expensive. ka <laughs> Yay, super gems. All right, here we go. You ready? Pretty soon. And there it is. There it is. There it is. Shut it off. Shut it off. It's off. The machine is off. Now, we are going to miss a little bit of money on the conveyor belts, but I won't count those. When this machine started, that said 1,800. Now, it does skip some. <laughs> there's so much money still coming. It does skip a little on the counting, so it's at 13,000. Because there's just so many that go through there, so like maybe one in every five gets not counted. So if we increase 13,000 by 20%, or I guess it's 12,000 by 20%, that's like 18,000 ore that we did. Okay. <laughs> um, I hit the flush button, and it should make it work. It's actually really smooth. Wow. It's not laggy now. <laughs> there were so many particles. 18,000 particles in there. And then what's ever left in this? See all these little things? Those are all individual nuggets. We'll crush that. I kind of want to take these to the store, too. And then these are, like, six minutes. These are just six minutes of money making. And then these guys are the ones that I built while making the machine. Not gonna lie, I'm super excited to see how much money this stuff's worth. I don't know if we can sell the gems directly. We're gonna try, though. I decided to take the scenic route back to the station. Because it's slightly more fun watching this thing go into orbit. Oh, but it didn't today. It's kind of sad. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Blitz, if you were to make this into a ring and other things, then you would have made so much more money. I know. Maybe we'll do that in the next video. Okay, so these are the ones per hour. And these are the ones since the beginning. Let's do the hour first. Let's do the silver. Oh, 24,000. That's not so much. Should I sell these? Well, I, that's in an hour, though. The Caternium? Ooh, that's another 1,400. Ooh, laggy. And then this thing should be... Oh, 56... 1,362, and I did that for six minutes. If I multiply that by 10, that's 563,000. Interesting, because we made 488,000 per hour with the other one. Okay. Now, the real question is, how much are these going to be worth? I mean, even still, I'll take $500,000 per hour. Okay, that one. <laughs> 243,000 for that. How about these gems? Can we just sell the gems? Oh, yeah, the gems are hardly worth anything. Even though that's like 10 hours worth of gemstones. All right. All right, 260, uh-huh. Nice, <laughs> 455,000. And then this one uh, for, for 80, and then that one, 500, $512,000. And like, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would be a little bit more, but I'm still pretty pumped on how much money that is. I thought I was missing something. Floating money. <laughs> it, it moves. Oh, I collected it. That worked well. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's Hydroneer video. I hope you enjoyed our adventure. I had a lot of fun. And if you guys do want to check out the Oculus Quest 2, make sure you click on that link down below to check out Mist and the Quest 2 on your very own. So, thanks for watching and keep your stick on the ice. Bye! I'd also like to thank Ben, Alan Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Noah Collingwood, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph, as well as the rest of the Patreon supporters and everyone who has clicked that join button down below and become a channel member.